Hello, welcome back to my channel Nepal Tech Hub. Today in this video, I'll talk about how to connect your Spring Boot project with the MySQL Workbench JDBC connection. So first of all, you have to have Workbench, MySQL Workbench. I'm using Visual Studio for Spring Boot project and MySQL Workbench 8.0 for database connection. So let's create a project first. First select the version and then after go with the Java language. Then give the project name. I'll give my first connection. Give the artifact ID. I'll give the test project. So it's a jar file and I'll select the Java version 17. And now it's a ton it's time for the dependencies. So first thing we need to go for the spring wave and then after MySQL driver, then you can get Spring Data JPA and Spring Boot Dev Tool. Now it's time for Dev Tool. So once you select, check that you have all four dependencies, and then after select where you want to save your project, generate the folder. And once it's ready, you can open it up. And it will create it will open the new Visual Studio and you can close the previous one. Whatever we need to give the connection for MySQL JDBC connection, it will, it will go under the resources under the application properties folder. So under the resources there will be the properties application properties. And yeah, all the connection configuration will go in here. Now, let's create the Java class. The first, inside the source main Java, create the Java class. I, I'm creating here student.java and it's a public class. So first thing you have to give the entity notation, add entity. Inside the class, create the private integer and all this ID, name, whatever you want to be inside the column. So I'll give here a private integer ID and then string first name. And then in the BS code you can do all shift and down arrow key so that it will copy all the everything that you have on the first line. We want our ID to be auto generated. To make it auto generated ID, we have to give annotation at ID and then generated value strategy equals to generation typed identity. Whatever we have in here, so ID will generate it by itself, or it's going to be auto generated, but everything else we need to give the provide by ourselves so we'll first create the column and all everything inside this private string first name last name and department and grade will be inside the column so I'll give the column an annotation and then give the column name student so this is a student class so I'll give student first name student last name student department and the student grade. I'll generate constructor. I'll create the constructor here. Go down here, source action and constructor. So select whatever you want to be inside the constructor. So in accept ID, I'll select everything else. Now it's time for the getter setter. So right click, source action, and getter setter. Select everything from here with ID. So if you don't give the table name, if you don't def define here, then by by default, it will the table name will be the same in our case. 
if you didn't if you don't provide explicitly don't provide any table name then by default it will get student as a table name because our Java class is student Now it's time for the JDBC connection configuration. So go to the application properties inside the resources. Now here we will give all the configuration required for the MySQL. First thing you have to you need to know your username and password for your root on your MySQL workbench. You need to have those to make the connection string. So spring data source URL JDBC colon MySQL colon forward slash localhost and the colon and 3306 the port of our mysql and so here it will be the name of your database inside your mysql so first you need to create a database inside your mysql workbench so let's go ahead and create this mysql inside the mysql workbench let's create a database so yes yeah, so i'll create spring connection database and now i'll create new database create database I'll create database project connection now I'll refresh it and you can see here project connection so inside the project connection database we don't have any tables we don't have anything else so I'll see if there is anything that we have inside the project connection database we just create the database schema inside there there's no to no tables and no column as well you can see here there is no tables in the, anything inside it so now we'll create the table whatever we have in um, we'll create the table and we'll give the um, column as well and we'll do that all from our Spring Boot project so here we have to give the name of our database that is project connection for me question mark use SSL equals to false and server time zone Now spring dot data source dot username equals to a root, whatever you have your data name, uh, username, and data source dot password. It might be different in your case because I'm giving my password for my my SQL workbench. It's time for hypernet configuration. Spring dot jpa dot properties dot hibernate. Supposed to be small h for the dialect, so let me make it small h. Have another dialect, and then I'll write it down again because it was supposed to come on the mm, down arrow. So spring dot jpa dot properties dot hibernate dot dialect ect equals to work dot hibernate dot dialect dot my sql5 in you know, dv dialect make sure you have the spelling correct i have it auto ddl so you spring dot gpa dot hibernate ddl auto equals to update logging dot label dot org dot hibernate dot sql equals to debug now use spring dot gpa dot so sql equals to true so that it will show you all the query that's running behind the scene make sure you have this configuration on your application properties for file and your database 
so it's the same as of your database that you create it's time to run our project save everything run then you will see that the query here it says create table still an id equals to and everything that that's running all the query running is behind the scene you can see on this console now let's go to the my sql workbench and use the same database and show the tables you can see there is a student table inside the database and let's see a whatever is inside the table select star is a wildcard select all from student table there you see and that's all the column that we just generated from our project this is how you can create a connection between your JDBC um, th this is how you can create a connection between your project with MySQL Workbench thank you so much please stay tuned for my next video you have a good day